Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Of course, we're new to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a very exciting but very serious video because I have been wanting to do this video for the longest, but I was so afraid to like hurt people around me. But today is the day because something happened to me yesterday and I was like, this is it, okay? So that's where the excitement is coming from because I'm finally doing this video that I've been wanting to do for the longest. And it's gonna be very serious because every single thing I see in this video um, is from my heart and I really mean it. So if you feel like this is about you, or if you feel like you are one of the people that say these things in this that I'm saying these videos, then please stop because it's not good, okay? As you guys can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about people, it can be family members, it can be friends, it can be associates, it can be strangers, thinking because you're married, you should be getting, you know, pregnant or you should be pregnant or you should be having kids or you should have already had kids because you've been, you've been married for a certain amount of time, okay? So if you're not subscribed, you already know, please hit the subscribe button down below because I'm already ready to jump into this video, okay? And don't forget to comment down below any other type of topics you would like me to talk about. i make sure I do so for you. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The links are in the description down below for your convenience. And yeah, let's get started, okay? So boom, I'm not going to go ahead and just ramble too much, but I have been asked that question so much, okay, by anybody, like I said. Family member, friends, associates, strangers, okay? And it's not cool. First of all, what tells you because I'm married, that means me and my partner want kids? Are you in our marriage? What tells you that I can't even have kids? I thank God because I can, but what tells you that it's even possible? What tells you that I didn't just have a miscarriage? Which I don't like to put my business out there, but I actually did recently so when people open their mouth to say certain things they should really be aware of what they say okay i'm not gonna go ahead and announce to the whole world that oh yeah i just had a miscarriage or this that the third because it's nobody's business like it's nobody's business but i kind of feel forced sometimes to say that because people are in my face telling me oh you married now you should be having kids what are you having kids are you pregnant all this question can somebody just gain weight in peace like, what is the problem? Like, sometimes that can affect someone mentally to the point that they get into such a dark place, especially based on what they go through. You guys are so quick to ask those type of questions to people when whole time you are probably in an unhappy marriage. Let's start with that. Or, whole time you have a lot of problem going on in your household. Or, you're not even married yourself. Or, you have kids my age at home married not with kids as well but you are instead of worrying about those people which i actually don't think you should i think you should just let them be i think you should let everybody be because it's my body i do what i want with it it's your body you do what you want with it if you were you know if you wanted to be married by the time you were 25 and you had your first child that same night after your wedding that's good for you that has nothing to do with me your story is not my story so i really feel like people need to stop asking those type of questions another thing is um, let's say, because I have an older sister, if you guys don't know, I'm the youngest in my family, and it's four of us, only my oldest brother is married, okay, the other one just got engaged, and my sister is single, and I'm married, right, so my older sister, or my cousin, will be hanging out together, and once we, you know, let's say someone sees my ring, and they be like, oh, you married, and I say, yes, mind you, these are people I don't know, like, those are like my, fr my sister's friends, or her, or my cousin's friends, and we're all hanging out together, once they find out I'm married, they act, they literally turn to them and be like, Oh, so your little sister is married. What are you guys waiting for? What? Oh my gosh. So they just need to rush and just grab any man. Marry me, marry me. Because they want to be married. They should just rush and be like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to get married? You want to get married? Let's get married. So they should be in unhappy, unhealthy marriages just because of their age. Like, they'll be like, your age is catching up to you. Your little sister already married. So what? Okay, I'm married. So what? Okay, so like you guys really need to stop. So let me tell you guys about what really triggered this in me yesterday. So yesterday my cousin called me, right, from back home. He called me, we talked, my grandma was around, he gave the phone to my grandma, and then there was like a great uncle. I think he, he's either my great uncle or my great cousin, because he's my mom's cousin. His mom is my mom's aunt, so I think that's like my great uncle or great cousin, one of those. Anyways, he took the phone from my grandma, he was like, how are you doing? So I'm doing good. And... I was like, you know, how many people are with you, you know, with the 
with my grandma at the village and he was like him my grandma my cousin his two kids so i was like oh okay is it are they boys or girls and then or both he was like oh uh, two boys. And I was like, you don't have any girl. He was like, not yet. But you're gonna add up to it. In my head, I was like, what does he mean? So I did ask him. I said, what do you mean? Like, am I gonna be like your daughter, and then I'm gonna be the third child, and so you can have a daughter? Or what do you mean? He was like, because when you give birth, you're gonna give birth to girls, and they're gonna be considered my child, my children too. And I was like, oh, okay. And he was like, by the way, when are you having kids? Mind you, when I went back home, like I said, in 2018, that's when we exchanged contact. We texted a few times. When I went back home last time, we saw each other like twice. And, you know, he came to visit me. And, I, and that same day I was going to the club. We saw each other again, went to the club together. So those were the, the two times I saw him in one day. Okay? So after that, I heard that he went back to the village. So I didn't see him. So he didn't ask me none of that. But last time I went in 2018, he... Um, asked me, he said, when are you getting, ma when are you having kids? I said, I'm not married yet. And then he was like, when are you getting married? I don't, I was like, I don't know. I'm not the one marrying myself. It's up to my man because I was engaged. And then he was like, oh, okay. I was like, and plus I'm not ready, you know? And then he was like, oh, okay. So yesterday after the, oh, how you doing? And all the stuff, you know, regular checkup things. And after I asked him about the kids, after he told me, you know, I'll be adding up to it and stuff like that. I was like, oh, okay. I left it at that. He was like, when are you having kids, right? So I told him, I said, I'm not ready. He was like, what are you saying? What are you saying? Like, what do you mean by you're not ready? In my head, I'm like, if if I, I become rude on the phone, they're going to say I'm rude. I'm, Amer I'm Americanized. I'm this, I'm that. But just that question itself is rude as heck. Like, how can people, like, ask those questions? Like, do you, how do you know if I can have kids? How do you know that, you know, um me and my man wants kids how do you know if i didn't just have a miscarriage like i said i actually did but i don't have to get up and tell the whole world about it like that's my business okay people need to learn how to mind their business you guys need to mind the business that pays you okay you know when i have kids how is that adding money to your pockets how like sometimes like i don't want to be rude but the questions people be asking are just so out of pockets and then he proceeds to say let me finish up okay he proceeds to say, after he said that, he was like, what do you mean? You stop saying that? I was like, anyways, when God gives, I'll take. You guys know what he said? What really, like, triggered me is the fact that he said, I am sure God, God has already done it. Technically telling me it was in French, so I'm trying to translate. So he was like, I'm sure God has already put kids in your path, but you have been blocking it. So that triggered me. It made me think of four things. Either this man thinks I'm on birth control, which I'm not. Either he thinks I use condom with my husband, which is crazy because I don't. Either he thinks um, I'm taking plan B every time, you know, my mom, my man comes in me and stuff like that. Or fourth, he thinks I'm having abortions. You guys get what I'm saying? You guys get what I'm going with this? Like, it was either of those, you know, type of things. Oh, my ear fell. But, like, that's how I felt. And that really, like, it was really uncomfortable to me. And plus, you're a man asking me this question. Even females asking this question is not okay. Like, we need to, you guys need to stop asking those type of questions to people. Like, literally, like, like I had my miscarriage, like, like, a couple months before my wedding. Like, one or two months before my wedding, right? Tell me why at the wedding, everybody was like, oh, now that y'all are married, in nine months' time, we should come and see the kids, this, that, the third. When I was still like going through the whole, you know, miscarriage situation. Do you know how that made me feel? And it was a bunch of people saying it. Like, I was already going through it. First of all, the doctor even told me I can I shouldn't even try, even if I want to. For nine months, she said I should just like try not to. And then in nine months time, I can try again. So how do you guys know that? I don't have to go around telling you guys my business because it's my business. Now I feel forced to say it because people keep asking. It can be on social media. You guys don't even know me. And they're, they're like all up in my business. How do you know when I have kids or if I want to have kids or why am I pregnant yet or when am I getting pregnant? How is that helping you? How is that putting food in your on your table or money in your pocket? How? And you see me with people older than me and asking when are they getting married? How is that helping you? Because most of y'all have a lot of issues going on in your own families, in your own household, in your own marriage. 
you cannot take care of those but you come in someone else's life and you want to dictate what they should do like how does that make sense like i didn't want to come off and be so serious but i think i have to be mind you i don't do these type of videos but i think i will start because i have a lot of things to say and i always be like oh i'm not gonna say it because i don't want to offend nobody but i'm sorry i gotta say what how i feel like to set myself free like i'm tired of holding this in and just telling about it you know i'll be telling jordan about it all the time so i'm tired so now it's time for me to just say it. anyways long story short after he told me that i just told him to give the phone to my cousin i spoke to my cousin and i i, I honestly didn't want to be on the phone anymore so i told him i had to go and stuff like that he was like you he my my uncle that that was rude to me was like because i called that rude because that's being rude he was like are you gonna call us back i was like i will see but i didn't call him back because i was not happy I was not happy with that whole situation, so I told my, you know, my mother-in-law, I told my husband, I told my, my sister, I, I told my mom, I told everybody about it. I was like, that's not even like he pushed it. Normally, people stop at when are you having kids, which is once again not okay. Or you know, why is your sister married and you're not married? Asking my older sister that, or my older cousins that, or my older friends that. Like sometimes they stop at that. That's not okay once again. But for him to say he's sure that God has put a child or children on my path but i've been blocking it that was just pushing it to like for me and he said that like like he made it seem like he was okay and i didn't want to be rude i didn't want to go off but i just decided to just you know ask to give him to give the phone to somebody else so i can just proceed to tell them i gotta go so please if you are also asking people out here Oh, when are you having kids? When not you married yet? Oh, age is catching up to you. That's one thing they love to say to these like older sisters of mine. Oh, age is catching up to you. When are you gonna settle down? When are you gonna get married as well? Please don't use my life. Don't use my life to tell other people how they should live theirs. Please focus on your own. If you wanted to get married and the same night get pregnant, once again, that's your wahala. That's your problem. It's not my portion. It's your business. I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. Also, another thing you guys need to remember is that here abroad is not the same thing like back home, okay? Back home when you have kids or you give birth, anybody and the mama can take up the child, okay? Almost free, all right? You don't have to pay them. They can be like, okay, your mom can be like, okay, here, come drop the baby, I'm home. Your cousins, your sisters, everybody can do that. But here, everybody's busy, everybody's working. So if I'm gonna have kids, I need to make sure I'm financially straight. Not financially good as in I can take care of myself and all the stuff. No, I want to be able to take care of me and my household, God forbid, just in case something happens tomorrow to my man. That's how I see life, okay? I want to have a certain amount of money saved just in case I get to lose my job or my man lose his job. We can still take care of our family, you know? That's once that's like at least looking good to me and to my husband, we're going to be ready to have kids, okay? And that's my choice some people don't care about that okay some people feel like kids are a blessing which is true and once you have kids you will figure it out i don't want i'm not part of those i beg my job is not to figure it out i want to figure it out before it comes and it, and, and it's too much for me okay let me try to figure it out as well and people love to say oh you can never be ready for a kid which i kind of understand because you don't know kids come with you know certain issue ups and downs and stuff like that which is very true once again i'm not saying no but i'm saying at least let me try to be financially close to be ready okay let me do that because if let's say I'd, i have children right i want my mom to babysit the kids my mom have a job she has a life i need to be able to cover some of her bills if i want her to take care of my children right while i'm working so in the meantime i know that right now i can't do that like i can't pay her bills or some of her bills while she take out my children why would i have kids just to struggle to find who's gonna watch them like you asking me when am i gonna have kids are you gonna be the one watching the kid no you're gonna be the one taking care of the child no or you're gonna be like oh congratulations maybe give me like a box of diaper if that like if that for real and then boom you're out of the picture i'm the one that's gonna be dealing with everything that comes with it not you so please unless you are ready to give me a good amount of money or sign me a check every month telling me okay every month I'll give you ten thousand dollars if you have children okay I will have children for you unless you're about to do that please do not ask and even if you are about to do that or you can do that for me me I'm talking about me right now I'm giving my own opinion if you can write me that ten thousand dollar check I will have kids for other people now let me talk for other people and for everybody please do not ask people anymore please 
Please stop asking people when are they having kids, when are they getting married, when are they, when, when are they pregnant yet, all these questions. Please stop asking. The $10,000 thing, I'm just saying it because it's me. Because if someone can legit, we can sign documents saying every month for the first five years of my child, they're going to write me a $10,000 check, $10, check, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to have the kids. I'm going to have the babies. No problem. But until then, baby, don't ask me when I'm having kids. Don't ask me. Mind you. Don't even ask anybody. But for me, I'm saying unless the checkers, if money is talking, the babies can come out of me. Okay? No problem. But you got to make sure you are really about to sign me those checks. Because we're going to go to court. And it's going to be poor court order. You hear me? So stop it. Stop it. Stop it. And stop it. But yeah, guys, on a more serious note, please do not ask people those questions. It's uncomfortable. It's not good. And it's, it's just rude. It's disrespectful. Everything above, okay? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know down below. I'll make sure I do so for you because I do have a lot to say, but I'll be holding it in because I'm like, I don't want to hurt people's feelings, but no, 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 no. It's 2021. We got to speak the truth, okay? I need to speak my truth, and this is my truth. I'm tired of being asked the, the, those type of questions, and I also hope you, if you're watching this, you, you, you ask those type of questions, please stop. Please stop, because you can be affecting someone mentally, because that, that really disturbed me mentally when he said that yesterday and when people have been saying that before like it also bothers me but i can't say that to the face because i don't want to be rude okay so yeah or i, also, I don't want to tell my business about you know what happened to me a few months before my wedding once again i might i might talk about it one day but for now i'm not ready i'm not ready i'm not ready i don't want to talk about it i'm not ready okay so yeah Thank you so much for watching once again. I really appreciate you. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe down below. If um, you're a returning subscriber, I love you. Thank you so much. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The links are in the description box down below for your convenience. And I will catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.